Yo, what's up? Okay, so I'm gonna be going from nothing to something. I'm doing this to prove that it's really not that difficult to get a legendary. And you can get one right now if you really wanted to. I'll give you all my tips and tricks later, but first I need something to start off with. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to get four commons out of it. Because that's what it's worth, I think, right? Yeah. I'll just try to get four out of it. And then I'll try to flip those four. Even though it's even though I'm losing, I'm going to try to flip those four for two uncommons. Let's try it. Honestly, I will take this. I will take this because a lot of people prefer guns over knives. So even I mean I do as well. So I feel like people would take a gun over a knife. Obviously this is a win. I'm giving one uncommon for six uncommons. I'm gonna try my best not to get gifted stuff like this. So every time this happens, I'll just give the person something in a turn. So the challenge doesn't become unfair. But now I got change of plans. And now I'm gonna go trade off these uncommons using the formula I've been using. And that's giving two tier one stuff for a tier two item. Or two tier two stuff for a tier three item and so on. In my case, I have six uncommons. So I'm going for three rares. And yeah, that's like literally my best tip I could give you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use these new purples that I got and get as many rares as I can with them and then try to flip those rares for more purples and hopefully that works because if that does then I'll be really good profit but if it doesn't then I'll just try to use the stuff that I have now and try to get a legendary with it and yeah. Now that I have all of these ultra rares and rares, I'm gonna start going for a legendary. If that doesn't work, I'll probably just get a bunch of other ultra rares and then start trading for a legendary. And then yeah, hopefully it works out. <laughs> 